Hello there and welcome to Inktober day 25. So we're almost there now, we're on the final stretch. I started off as I have been doing and lit a candle. I feel like this is super cozy, especially with the weather getting colder and I've just really loved this. It's been really relaxing, especially to get my sketchbook out and just enjoy it. So today's prompt is tempting. For this one, I had a pretty clear idea as soon as I started. For this entire Inktober, I have just been basically doing the first thing that's come to mind. That's really what I've been doing. I feel like that's the best way because honestly, I could sit there just going over ideas on ideas and completely different stuff. And at the end of the day, I wanted to do it like, I'm gonna look at the prompt and see what the very first thing that comes to my head is and then just kind of run with it. And I really enjoyed that because I feel like it really represents like the initial feeling I had, the initial idea that I followed. And I really like that. I like that as a concept, especially for a fast art challenge. So for this one, I went ahead and did the planning and realized that I cannot draw hands for the life of me. I'm so bad at drawing hands and I definitely want to practice that once Inktober is done. So the idea that I had for this one was a hand with an apple with a snake. And I can't exactly explain where I saw that. I know that part of it comes from the Adam and Eve story with the forbidden fruit, but I don't know if there's a snake in that. I don't know exactly where that come from. So I had the idea of a hand holding an apple with a snake wrapped around and I did a few snakes and some of them looked truly awful. And then I Googled it and it's actually a really common piece of artwork. Like so many people had created it and it was like oh okay that's probably where I got the idea from it's probably just on Pinterest the millions of other people that have already done it so I wanted to change it slightly so I combined it a little bit further with the actual forbidden fruit depiction where the hand the apple isn't being held by the hand at that point it's like someone reaching out and then the snake is kind of stopping them that was the idea that I wanted to go with a little bit further so I did the apple being on a branch which I really loved and then I did the hand reaching out with the snake there and I don't think the hand is truly awful I think the first initial sketches were but it didn't turn out too bad so I did the initial line work um, with my dip pen and I didn't really add too much texture I just did the basic line Line work. The idea that I had was to do the entire background black and then leave everything else on top of it virtually white. And I did generally stick with this. You can see that I just made the background completely opaque and I really like it. I do like the opaque black background. I am running out of ink but I've kind of accepted that I'm just going to need to buy a new one so I've just kind of started using my ink. I think at the beginning I was like I needed to save it and that's a lot of the reason why I didn't use such opaque ink and now I'm just like no it looks so much better being opaque than lots of different varieties of grey so that's kind of what I ran with and I really love the opaque background so in order for everything else to pop I the idea I had was to just leave it all completely white not touch any of it and I do think somewhat it could have worked but I think it probably would have looked pretty unfinished so in the end I did add a, a little bit of grey, like a little bit of really diluted ink which you'll see in a little bit but the background really did take quite a bit of time but I did find it really quite relaxing to do just going around everything and I didn't really make any mistakes which is a really good perk, it's you know something that I, I make mistakes so often so it was actually a really pleasant surprise. I left a slight white border around the edge, I really like this, I feel like it makes it look quite clean and crisp. So what I did was I got diluted ink and I added the parts of the hands like the knuckles and the kind of creases and that and I don't think it really made it look great but I added them anyway just because I felt like it needed something otherwise it wouldn't look completely done. And I also added like a little like cross on the apple so it kind of, not like a cross but like hatching so it looked like it was a bit like bruised, you know. Then I accidentally, like a little bit of ink on the hand just dried really fast and I had to keep adding ink to try and smooth it out which you'll kind of see. But anyway, I did a slight bit of grey and this is the entire thing. I only coloured in the hand and the apple. I left the rest completely white. I really love how this one turned out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're subscribed for day 26. I will see you then. Bye bye.